back in New Orleans for Tales of the Cocktail. I've been checking out the schedule. There are so many incredible looking parties and seminars and all sorts of things going on. Let's see how much I can squeeze in this year. popular as you all know I know you all drink it this is Jim Ryan and you've just brought on some new uh, brand ambassadors can you introduce us yeah to them? we're really excited we have Jessica who's Hello. focused in the central south and Mark our man out west, holding it down. So you have Team Hendrix Gin right here. So what do you look for when you're choosing a new brand ambassador? Patience, ability to speak in front of people, confidence. Awesome, that sounds like a great recipe. We're at the Dame Hall of Fame luncheon with the Dame herself, Charlotte Voicey from William Grant and Sons. Tell us about this award ceremony. Um, so I believe it's the first of the kind the uh, Lupec ladies have put together this Dame Hall of Fame. It just rolls right off the tongue, so it's going to be a great event. Uh, we've got some of the best females in the business serving up cocktails with a bunch of different uh, uh, brands and a beautiful luncheon outside. So I'm really excited to see all about the women that are going to be represented here today. Women in the industry, yes! I don't need to introduce you to Mr. Gary Gaz Regan, who uh, is such an inspiration to many of us, myself personally and professionally. Um, cocktails obviously are very creative. Today this is the sporting life, which is sort of an art salon of music and poetry. What, what, what are you doing? What's happening today? I'm giving a presentation about my parents today. Uh, they were pub owners in England and they really set the platform that I have tried to live up to. I'm really excited about this. I'm sure you all will be too. I'm with Neil Bodenheimer, one of the Tales of the Cocktail ambassadors for the 10th anniversary. Tell us about your, I've been to Cure. Tell us about Cure and tell us about your new bar here in New Orleans as well. Well, Cure was, was really one of the first um, freestanding craft cocktail destinations in the city and uh, we're always just trying to push the envelope in ways that we're interested in and Belloc was more of a period piece for us. It's uh, studying 19th century cocktails, cobblers, fortified wines and uh, that opened up in January so we've been working on that. Since. Wonderful and what does it mean to be a Tales of the Cocktail Ambassador? Well I mean for us it's great because we get to represent the city that we love and try and show that to other people that come down here. Wonderful, well we'll hope to see you all here next year. This is Edible Cocktails. It's my new cocktail book. I'm super proud of it. It's all about garden to glass, making your own ingredients, um, infusing your own spirits, making your own liqueurs, using eggs, dairy, and meat. And I also have contributions from wonderful bartenders all around the world who have contributed some recipes to this. So um, if you're interested in that sort of thing, look it up. It's on Amazon. Patterson from Salerno Blood Orange Liqueur and they are doing the Mr. Salerno competition. A chance for us girls to objectify the guys the way we always are in bars. 
about time. About freaking time. About freaking time. So Absolutely. tell us about the event. So, um, who are these guys? Oh, these guys. These guys. I have men from Singapore to New York, San Francisco. I have guys for, representing from all over the country, Louisville, Kentucky, um, and they are hot. Nice. <laughs> and or confident. That. Um, so I have some of my judges here with Introduce us. Introduce these yes. lovely ladies. Uh, the beautiful Miss Jennifer Collio, Small Hand Food Syrup. Uh, the inimitable Jenny Adams, freelance writer extraordinaire. Um, they both have expert abilities in judging men. <laughs> and liquor. And liquor. And liquor. And cocktails. And this is one of our, actually, our pageant moms, Miss Allison Weber, out of San Francisco, California. What's a pageant mom? So, all of the boys have pageant moms. And basically, these are female bartenders who are rocking delicious frozen Salerno cocktails, um, which we'll be judging um, while they're men work it for the, so, for the audience. So let me get this straight. In order to win, the guy has to be hot and have an awesome cocktail paired with him? You know, he doesn't necessarily have to be hot. He's got to be confident. He's got to have swagger. He's like gotta dating. Have, yeah, he's he's like be, dating. Exactly. He's got to be creative. <laughs> Hotness helps. But if you don't have the swagger, you don't really got anything.